Hi, everybody. Good morning. It's great to see you. I'm so excited. 30 minutes from now, we are putting out our fantastic ASL video. I'm so excited. And Raquel McPeak did such an amazing job. She's a fantastic actress. I cannot wait for you to see it. So I got some great questions that came in. Hi, hi. And feel free to ask questions along the way. But we've got some great questions that I'm going to answer for you. And if anything sparks your attention or wants, or you want to ask something or send a little tidbit, please send it. <laughs> so uh, we got a question that says, what or who inspired you to create an ASL video? So, you know, I am a huge TikToker. Um, we have our fabulous group, the Bryniacs. And when we go on our lives, we have everybody come on and sing a song or tell a story or uh, play an instrument or do a monologue, whatever they want to do, tell jokes as Carissa does. And we had a great Bryniac come on, uh, Alex. She was, she said, you know, I want to sing a song, but I really also want to do some sign language to the song, which I thought was a, such an incredible idea. And when I saw her performance, I was really moved and I was blown away by it. And I thought, you know, here as Bryniacs, we always talk about including everyone in our family. We love all races, religions, sexual preferences. It doesn't matter who you are. We want you to be a part of us. And so I thought when Alex did her performance, I thought, you know, we need to include the ASL community. And you'll see, it's just incredible what Raquel does. So um, so why did we want to make one? It's definitely because we wanted to include everybody and we wanted to include the American Sign Language community, um, which is what an ASL video is. It, uh, it takes a song or we're taking a song like Body First and we included sign language as well as the captions or we transcribed the song so that everyone could enjoy the song. And how did we go about making the video? What experts did you talk to and how did you find them? And to me, I'm somebody that when I get involved with, with anything I do, I always like to do so much research. I like to, I like to know everything. I like to be educated on what I'm getting ready to embark on. <laughs> so I reached out to a great group uh, Deanne is the head of Sign With Me Incorporated. It's a great organization. Then that's how we came about to with chatting with Raquel McPeak about making this video and bringing Body First to life in the ASL community. And um, who is Raquel? Is she deaf? What's her story? How come she can mouth the words to Body First? Well, what's interesting about Raquel is Yes, she is. And what I've learned, too, is hard of hearing. And um, there's differences between being deaf and hard of hearing and 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 uh, the hearing impaired. There's different there's different things. And, and I'm learning, too, what's the proper terminology. And so I want to learn along the way, too. I want to be I want to be politically correct and I want to and, and I want to be right for everyone in the community. So um, Raquel is a fantastic actress. She's been in so many great shows. Um, uh, Chicago Med was one of them, uh, but you'll see her IMDb. She's done so many things. I think right now she's in New York doing a couple shows. She's all over it, doing really, really great. So proud of her. And she definitely uh, uses a colloquial in-ear uh, monitor, which is fantastic. And it's so great where science is today. Sorry, you're hearing a little one down here. She's uh, definitely always has something to say. Um, but that's why she can mouth the words. I believe she's 20% um, uh, deaf. So, um, or she's got 20% of her hearing. So she uses this implant and that's how she can hear the words and sign them. So we, uh, we wanted to make sure that it came across um, and her delivery is so passionate and moving and she's just so cute. And, and you just can't stop looking at her and watching her bring this song to life. You know, here is somebody who, uh, you know, here you write this song and or you co-write the song and you're like, 
oh my God, is this even going to be something? Will people think they'll enjoy it? Will they like it? Will it, you, what will it turn into? And, you know, me being this hopeless romantic, I, I love love and I love love songs and all that kind of stuff. So it was a great way to bring the song to life. And Raquel brings Body First into a whole different light. And she, uh, she just takes Body First to a whole different th level. And her interpretation makes the song a whole nother song. Uh, it just was so incredible to watch. And, and she really told this story uh, in, in such a way that you see her passion and love of, of sign language and, and community. And that's her thing too, which I, in talking with her, we've become great friends. And um, she's so excited. In fact, she texted me yesterday. She's like, I'm so excited that it's coming out. And, and, uh, but she too loves to include everybody and loves to include just like the Brainiacs. We love including people in our community. So, um, I, she wanted to include, include the hearing, the heart of hearing and the deaf community. So really, really great. Um, where do we make the video and who was the videographer? So our videographer is JP Sanchez. He's so great. I love him. Um, worked with him many times, different photo shoots, different videos and things like that. And, and a lot of behind the scenes things of, uh, photo shoots and, and fun stuff. And, uh, he's just really great. And in fact, uh, we got to shoot this video down in downtown Los Angeles, uh, in a great warehouse. So you see like the lighting and just some really cool textures and things that are distressed and, and just, oh, I, I love it. It's very raw because um, I didn't want this video to be so perfect or so staged or whatnot. I wanted you to be able to feel the emotion and the passion that Raquel brings to the video. Um, so let's, uh, let's look at, uh, so were there any issues making the video? What did the pro what did the process of making the video look like? So I did a lot of research, and so did JP and and our team. We I, again, I wanted to make sure that this video really represented the a the ASL community, and so I really did a lot of research, and so did everybody. Just really making sure that we knew what we were doing, and and uh, we had talked with a, a group um, sign a song in Nashville. Uh, where they um, they help artists that are, want to make ASL videos and uh, to support the, the ASL community. And they should, they told us some different things to do and not to do, uh, what to include, what not to include, what's the right angles, you know, making sure you can see her hands at all times because that's really how you're telling the story. Um, and they also said, which actually Raquel as well, to include the captions or uh, make sure that you have all the words and transcribing things. In fact, even in some posts that we've put up about the video coming out, she said, you know, it'd be great if you could transcribe what you're saying so that everybody can understand. And I absolutely, I'm still learning and, uh, but I, I'm really excited about the video. So um, but, you know, there, we actually shot the video twice because I wanted to make sure that we really captured Raquel in, in the right light and, and the ASL community. So we shot it and then I'm like, you know, it doesn't feel right. I want, I really want this to convey everything about Body First, the song, ASL, Raquel, so we went back a second time to shoot the video and it really, she just, she got a hold of that passion and every word is just, she makes it into this, uh, it, each word has its own performance. It's really absolutely incredible. And what I love too, is that she don't say another word, one of the lyrics in the song or one of the phrases in the song she signs it several different ways because she wanted to include all communities as well. The hearing, the, uh, the heart of hearing and the deaf community. So you'll see it's signed several different ways, which I think is so clever. And, you know, it's not word for word, the sign language, it's phrases and different interpretations, which really, um, you know, when we met up with, um, uh, sign with me, they really, uh, Deanne had come up with this 
interpretation, she and Raquel together came up with this interpretation of body first so that it was more of a, not word for word, but you really got the passion and you got uh, her emotion. And it, and so it just was all the phrases and different things and different ways to say things. I've learned so much through this process. I'm so excited. And um, how did you go about editing the video after the shoot? Uh, and um, finally, uh, so, okay. Well, I kind of did a little bit of that already, but um, how did we go editing the video? So after the first, the first round of, uh, video shooting, all of the above, um, you know, that I just didn't feel that it captured everything that Raquel, I, I mean, she's just so dynamic in her performance and who she is. And she too loves to give her all to everything she does. And you really see that in this video. You, you're so mesmerized by her performance. You get, you just can't stop watching. She's so great. Um, so I, I wanted to make sure there was different angles because that's what keeps the listener to uh, the listener and the viewer engaged. But I also wanted to show the different angles of Raquel and, and also come in a little closer, be a little more intimate or um, put her in a different situation where, where everybody can relate and there's different lighting. And uh, so it just, you get to see the real fun, playful side of her, but you also get to see the very, uh, sensitive and yes it is a sensual song but you get to see that too but she just encompasses all of those emotions and so um you know but we we looked at a lot of different um several artists who have asl videos and and the things we wanted to to make sure with the do's and don'ts we, we wanted to include what we should include but we also wanted to make sure we didn't do certain things um and sign a song definitely gave us a list of things to do and not to do um were there any funny stories i have to say some of the funniest stories <laughs> raquel and i are like the same size we're like two peas in a pod um so it's fun to be able to talk about like our shoe sizes <laughs> i'm like my shoe size hasn't changed i'm like a size four triple a and i think she's like said she was a five and and uh you know we were talking about our clothes and things like that it just uh we just had fun being so little and she's just such a breath of fresh air, a ray of sunshine. Her smile lights up the room and she's just so sweet. And I, uh, we just laughed a lot. And as you can see in a couple of the videos of us doing uh, me singing and or lip syncing and she doing the sign language of us together doing it, we were just cracking up, having so much fun. We were like, yo, if we were in, if we were together all the time, we would be in so much trouble. <laughs> Are you happy with how the video turned out? I absolutely am happy with the, how the video turned out. I think uh, I, I'm so glad we went back to do a second round of, of uh, shooting because I just wanted to make sure that we made, made the ASL community happy. We represented them well. And we wanted to show Raquel. She's a, an amazing talent an amazing, amazing lady. And I'm so happy and so uh, appreciative to call her my friend. Um, I, I've learned so much through her. Uh, I'm excited to get more involved with the ASL community. Um, uh, it's something I definitely want to continue uh, as a musician. I want to include uh, doing more ASL videos and, and experience different things and, and be a part of that community. So I'm really excited about that. Um, does Raquel's interpretation of body first match how you wrote the song? I think Raquel took it to a whole new level. Um, as an artist, you have this vision in your head of what you think your song should look like or, or what you want it to, or what you want to convey or portray or whatnot with the lyrics that you come up with. And I have my interpretation, as you see in the music video, and Raquel has another uh, interpretation for her ASL video. But together, I think you see the passion and the love and um, this relationship between a couple. Um, 
And I, in the music video that I did, Raquel, uh, in the music video that I did, you see the couple dancing and they dance apart uh, one on one and solo and, and they come together and they they show this passion and and it's just this warmth and and beauty and sensuality and they tell this song together and it's absolutely an amazing interpretation that the video director Justin Key did. But also when you look at um when you look at Raquel's interpretation, she made the song a whole nother song in itself. Uh they she took it to a whole new level. I mean the she signed. I mean it just I never imagined what doing I never knew that I would do a, a sign language video. And I was so excited that Alex, our Brainiac, brought that to my attention. I'm like, I I'd always want to do this. I always want to include uh, the, the hard of hearing and uh, the deaf community and the hearing. I always want to include everybody. And so I'm learning. I'm, it's a process for me, too. And, and I, I think Raquel has done such a beautiful job. And to see my song makes me tear up a little bit because it just, her passion comes across. And you never know as part of the dream that your song's even going to become something. And the fact that it's a music video and and uh, it's reached over a million views, which is really incredible. And now to see Raquel bring my song to life in a whole nother animal in a whole nother vein. It's just, it's really, really neat. And I'm so appreciative of it. And thank you guys for, for all the support. Uh, so sorry. <laughs> Always have a little moment. Um, uh, now that you've produced an ASL video, do you feel like it's worth doing for future songs? Is it something you will include in your process of producing songs moving forward? Which I guess I already uh, answered that a little bit, but yes, I absolutely do. I think, um, I loved the process. I loved working with Raquel. I learned so much from her um, and about the community uh, and how to support them and bring awareness to the ASL community. Um, I definitely want to to do that with future songs and uh, and and I was so happy to work with Sign a Song and and Sign with Me. They they really helped me learn about the community. Um, I, I got so much information from them and and how to include everybody. I think, you know, as in the world today, uh, we all need to come together and, and we need to support one another. And to me, this is, I loved, I loved working on this and I loved seeing it all come together from editing to, to, to coming up with this idea of, you know what, I want to do this. I want to create an ASL video to then seeing it through from shooting it twice <laughs> to then editing it down and doing all the different angles and, and just really getting to know Raquel and knowing the ASL community. It just, I'm really, really excited about it. And I can't wait for you all to see it in a few minutes. I'm, uh, it's really an incredible interpretation. You'll see her passion, her love, and she brings body first to a whole new meaning. It just, it's, she brings uh, just everything about her and, and, and her style and her interpretation of this song. I'm so happy. It's fantastic. And I hope you love it uh, as much as I do. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to be here and to support me and this crazy dream I have uh, that we all have. And, uh, Thanks for being part of my Brainiacs and Brainiacs. Thanks for letting me be a part of you. Uh, I'm really, really inspired by all of you and the things that you do and your lives and, and the fact that we all come together to be one big family is really important. And I love you and thank you for including me.